The Blue Jays are such a talented team that it can be easy to overlook up and coming studs that are overflowing with potential simply because the bar is set so high by all stars like George Springer, Vlad Jr., Bo Bichette, Teoscar Hernandez, among others. Catcher is a position that has long been seen as glove first, meaning that catchers tend to not be the best in terms of hitting. Alejandro Kirk has been an exception and has been an absolute machine so far in 2022, and I believe he is deserving of not only earning an all-star nod, but should be starting behind the dish for the American League come all-star week in July. Like I said before, Kirk is often overlooked as he is surrounded by a plethora of great talents. However, this year he is tied for the team lead in war with Santiago Espinal, according to Fangraphs. Espinal is also coming into his own in 2022 and has been criminally underrated thus far in the young season. Let's take a look at Alejandro's season to date. He's currently sitting at a 2.1 war, which ties him for 27th for the 2022 season among all players and second for catchers only behind Wilson Contreras at the time I'm recording this video. Kirk has five homers on the year, an 878 OPS, and a 154 OPS+. Plus. The most impressive thing about Alejandro Kirk to me, however, is his ability to avoid striking out. He has 21 walks compared to 16 strikeouts in 172 plate appearances. That's less than 10% of the time. His ability to make contact with the ball is the reason he has a 322 batting average and an over 400 on base percentage. Comparatively speaking to last year in 2021, Kirk is on pace to shatter a list of personal bests in the big leagues. In 60 games last year, he hit eight homers, had eight doubles, which he has already matched this year, 24 RBIs, and a 242 batting average to go along with the 764 OPS. At a 105 OPS plus, he was only 5% better than league average compared to this year, where he is 54% better. With one intentional walk this year, he's a new record for a single season. People are starting to fear Captain Kirk. This is only his second season of 40 games or more. He's only 23 and isn't set to hit the free agent market until 2027. Now, do I expect Kirk to keep up this ridiculous production for the rest of the year? Perhaps. To this level, we don't know just yet, but I think that it is plausible to think that he could finish with a 300 average and at least 800 OPS or more. The more walks and strikeouts might be hard to sustain, but who knows, there are a select few who manage to do it in the MLB. Juan Soto is the number one example of walking more than striking out, as he has 28 more walks than strikeouts for his career. Regardless of the way this season plays out, Blue Jays have a stud catcher on their hands, and if he can continue this success, he will be able to get all-star knots for years to come. Catcher is a very hard position to be elite in terms of hitting, and Kirk has surfaced as one of the great young talents in this game. This was a different style of video as it isn't quite baseball story time, which is why I'm going to start calling these videos Stud Spotlight, where we highlight one individual's performance in the MLB. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing. We'll see you guys in the next video. Later. You deserve it. Wow, what a swing he put on that baseball. I don't care what we do. Can I kick it with you?